Yeah, I want to talk about the effects of uh, transfection, um, which is something that could occurs when you're doing uh, the blood electrification per the Dr. Beck specifications, which is according to the patent that was done at the uh, Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City. Um, when you're doing this blood electrification, the normal setting is 4 hertz. It's going positive, negative, 4 hertz, 4 times a second. And you can see this... Uh, Red light is blinking. Like I said, this is the one from down in Ecuador. He's, he's a Texan, though. He's a Texan. And, uh, you know, one thing is Dr. Beck warned about and when you're doing this. And I, I personally never had a problem with this at all. I was using a 4 hertz setting most of the time. I usually use the 10 hertz. But when you're using the uh, standard setting, 4 hertz setting, it's going back in positive, negative four times a second when it's treating the blood with real real low um, microamps, millionths of an amp, what happens is the blood actually becomes more sensitive to um, herbs and medicines and things like that so it actually has like a, a, a multiplier effect. Now I take a lot of vitamins and herbs and stuff and I, and I never felt like it was a problem. That's just my personal experience and from what I've been reading over the years not everybody seems to be affected by this transfection type effect. In other words, the blood is a little is temporarily, while you're being treated with this stuff, it's temporarily more easier for um, nutrients and medicines to be absorbed. That's what it means, transfection. So you don't want to take your medicines or your herbs or your vitamins right before or during doing this unless you change the frequency. You see, that's what I like about his products down here in Ecuador. He's, well, he'd be still up here in the United States if the United States was a little more free, <laughs> you know. But uh, you could turn, like for this one, he has the indicator light, you could turn it up to 40 hertz, 40 hertz. In other words, it's going back and forth, positive, negative, 40 times a second. So the light looks like it's constant. You can't even tell it's like flashing back and forth that fast but that's what's going on and that means there's a there's almost it's impossible to have any effects from transfection then that way at all now typically what I do is I have, an, I have several of these units actually this is a combination unit and this is has one setting uh, 10 Hertz 10 Hertz I like using that setting a lot and I've seen some other vendors that made devices that only use the 10 hertz setting. And the reason this only has a 10 hertz setting is because this is two devices in one. It has, it's another device to actually combat free radicals, and it has the uh, microelectrical type current that was developed by Bob Beck. That's why it doesn't have the three settings, 4, 10, and 40 hertz. Now, I actually have one of those coming because... Um, I just, I actually, I, well, I have a pile of his devices actually from down in Ecuador. These are a little bit older. Um, this is one, uh, which is D, it's a DC, DC electrifier and a micro electrifier. Basically, um, this does, the newer version has the light, the indicator light. This indicator light is strictly for the DC side. The, in the newer version, has both the indicator light for the Beck current and the DC version. But you know I have to I would have to explain this on another thing, but uh, it does have four hertz and forty hertz. So you can put it on forty hertz. This doesn't have the uh, indicator light though. But um, I got one coming um, because I decided I feel that who the hell knows what could happen in a medical establishment in the future. They might, you might have to use these type of devices underground for all I know. I, you know, the way things are going in the global uh, powers and all that type of stuff, I think this stuff is the best stuff going. But there's, I haven't really seen any vendors. I saw one other vendor that did, sold one that was strictly the 10 hertz setting. And um, it's, 10 hertz is a good compromise. It works very well. And it's very little effect you'll get from transfer, transfection at all. You could take some vitamins, you could take an aspirin. The only thing that it may 
have, you might still have a problem possibly is if you take very very strong medicines and herbs then you want to use the 40 hertz setting and then you won't have any effect you won't, it shouldn't have any effect where the body's absorbing them quicker than normal so uh, you know that's actually one of my reasons I'm ordering another unit because I used I want to use both of them on 10 hertz 10 hertz you know happy medium both wrist to wrist and ankle to ankle that's one th that's one reason I like his the products sold down you know he's an American basically he's from Ecuador and USA both I guess but uh, that's one reason I like his products because he gives you a choice but personally I was using this mini one the two I used the most was this mini one, and I didn't use it on 40 hertz. I used it on four, and I never had a problem with feeling like I took too many herbs or anything, like there was a, a multiplier effect, and I used this one on 10 hertz. That's what I've done, and I've been using these for years. So, and actually, I like this little one, this mini one. I dropped these things so many times, man. That's another thing. I think they're made pretty good. You're not supposed to drop them. But like I drop, you know, this is why this one has Gorilla Glue around here because I dropped it and it cracked the plastic. I did. I dropped this one once, a couple times, well, more than once. One time I actually cracked the edge. I just put Gorilla Glue on it, but everything works fine. So it's, it makes some pretty good stuff. This one I dropped a gazillion times. It's like a little one, and I and never nothing ever happened to it. And I mean, I dropped it on like you know, a hard surface, you know, um, stone tile floor with concrete under it. So, I mean, it, it wasn't like I dropped it on a carpet. So, uh, you're not supposed to do that, but I was glad it didn't break anything. <laughs> I just I just fixed it with a little glue. So, they, they look like they're pretty good units, and they look like they'll last for a lot of years. This one I like a lot. Um, you know, they make it, now he makes it with the um, indicator light for the... Um, the microelectricity part where it's using Dr. Bob Beck current, you know, uh, but I got the thing where it can recharge it and everything else. It's got rechargeable batteries in it. And the type of batteries I use in these things, I use the 9.6 volt rechargeable batteries. They're a little more oomph in them. They're for like paintball guns and stuff. They, they're designed for a little more power because the, the standard rechargeable batteries for 9 volts are eight well they're actually 8.4 that's just how rechargeable batteries work they work in increments of 1.2 volts so pretty much every 9 volt battery you get is actually 8.4 volts like if you get a double a battery it's 1.2 it's not one and a half that's that's just how they are so I get these ones that are 9.6 volts and since these cases are plenty big they fit in there the only problem with using sometimes these 9.6 volt rechargeable batteries they might not fit in the compartment of the device but they fit in here no problem there's no problem with it and if you look and measure the voltage on like a Duracell or an Energizer alkaline battery it actually is about 10.2 volts brand new that so like when they say 9.6 volts rechargeable it's really it's it's right about on par with the alkaline batteries except you can recharge them so you got the best of both worlds in other words you can recharge the batteries you know 500 or 1000 times and they're just as good as alkalines right from the beginning that's why I like using them so I use these things quite a bit and like I said I up the usage on it and uh, I don't know what the deal is, but it seems like I got my old energy back. When I'm doing three hours of cardio, high, high intensity a day, it don't seem like nothing. And I saw that back in the research, not something that Mike's claiming, but it was on the papers uh, that Dr. Beck did a while back, who was a phys physicist, a PhD. Um, they, they claimed a very great increase in ATP because the blood, red blood cells were not clumped together as much. Well, by using the Beck current, the uh, what AC current that Beck has designed for using outside the body that gets into the bloodstream. So, um, I don't know. I, I personally think it's working like crazy in unexpected ways that I didn't expect. And, uh, you know, three hours of intense cardio a day doesn't seem like nothing. So maybe I'm going to get anorexic again here for all I know because that's what I used to be doing. I used to do three hours or more of intense cardio a day. I mean, intense. Like, uh, at least 
82 to 85 to 90 percent heart rate for three hours straight on the elliptical machine and uh, I sometimes it would be a lot more than that too 365 days a year for years straight so it seems like since I've been doing this overnight wrist to wrist and ankle to ankle it seems like my energy levels have went up I'm just telling you what I think and uh, but oh I want to say this um, you're not supposed to start out using this device a lot. I should warn about that. Um, you should do about 15 minutes a day to 20 minutes a day. And if you feel like you're getting toxic effects from die off of, vi of viri and bacteria, you might want to lay off a day and not do it. When I started using these devices, I, used to start, I started using the one by Silver Smoke Research, which is basically the same current, but it doesn't have the indicator light, but it was the 4 hertz setting. This, you know the standard back current I started out <laughs> like well two hours a day but I was drinking um, probably 15 glasses of ozonated water a day that was treated for 20 minutes each time I was drinking a lot of colloidal silver um, I was also uh, a lot of colloidal silver I was also uh, taking a lot of vitamins and herbs and things like that so I probably was fairly, and I was also using the, the O2, O2, the O2, H2O2, hydrogen peroxide um, food grade, a couple drops of that in the water. So I was probably pretty clear of pathogens, but I do remember when I started doing this two hours a day, um, the first three days, especially the third day, I felt very tired. And I was using, I was like, holy shit, I don't know if I can make it through three hours of cardio. But I did. But then the fourth day, I started feeling better. So I probably was pretty clear of pathogens. But I can tell you, I've, I've read stories where people tried that and went full bore. And they weren't like really, pert, their systems weren't old. Like I was very uh, much doing a lot of uh, ozonated water and stuff. There probably wasn't too many pathogens in me. But I read where people tried doing that. It put them on their ass because they had so much uh, viruses and parasites and stuff in their in their blood that when the die off came about, their body could not purge it out as quick as they needed to, and all the toxins were basically making them sick. You know that's why you don't want to overdo this in the beginning. You want to just do it a little bit. So like I probably am totally free of all kinds of pathogens doing this like 12 hours a day, wrist to wrist and ankle to ankle. But um, the best thing I you, one thing I just really want to point out is the problem with transfection. It's I think it's not always a problem because I was actually using a four hertz setting a lot and taking herbs and I didn't really have a problem. I don't know I just didn't have a problem and. Uh, I was using it a lot more than two hours too, but uh, some some people do have a, an effect from that. So if you're using a 10 hertz setting, you're you're pretty safe from that. It's almost like you're not going to have any problem at all. The only thing you might have a problem is if you take like very strong medicines or very strong herbs. But if you use the 40 hertz setting, you shouldn't have any problem at all. At period, even with strong herbs, where they'll, they'll multiply the effect of strong herbs or strong medicines. It's just going to be whatever you took, that's going to be the effect. It's not going to have any kind of multiplier effect. So that's one good thing that I think uh, it's kind of hard to find a, a Beck design device that offers you the 4 hertz, the 10 hertz, and the 40 hertz. I have seen some years ago where they offered only the 10 hertz. That's, that's not a bad idea too, but you got all three options. And the reason I'm not, you know, this these two have two options because it's a combination device. It's not it's strictly a microbe electrifier. And, um, you know, but I got one coming. I decided to get, because I have, basically I have um, four devices from Mike, which is going to be five now, and I have two from Soda Instruments. Plus, I actually have the plans on how to build them in a breadboard, and I pretty much have some homemade ones built too. So like if the world ever came to like this was not allowed by the World Health Organization or some shit because it works too damn good, 
or something like that. You know, the conspiracy theories out there, if they made it illegal, there's a ways you can make it. And um, I'll probably put something out on that later because uh, I think that would be good knowledge to have. How do you make these damn things? I mean, I wouldn't be able to make one like Mike makes because it's a lot better, but I'd be able to make the standard one, you know, the simple one that Beck came up with. He's got a better, um, he's got the same thing as Dr. Beck made, but it's got more features. And like I said, those features, the two features I think are super, super, is the indicator light. You know you're getting the right amount of current, and also you know you got the wires hooked up correctly and stuff. And the other thing is the, um, the, the ability to change the frequency. So like you can put this on 4 hertz, and you can change it to 40 hertz. And the standard unit has 4, 10 hertz, and 40 hertz. So uh, that's a very important feature. Because a lot of times people are taking medicines, they are taking herbs. So if you're using 10 hertz, you're, you're, you should be okay for almost anything. And if you're using 40 hertz, you should be okay for any kinds of medicines or herbs where it's not going to cause the herbs to be multiplied in effect. So that's a very, very important feature. And uh, I think his product's the only one that has it. So, but like I said, I, I've been working out more than three hours a day again and uh, I don't know it's ever since I started doing that wrist to wrist and ankle to ankle stuff overnight with these these things so uh, you know I'm gonna continue on with it I like I you know people used to say I was doing that too excessively but I don't see where it messed me up I was doing three hours a, well I was getting skinny as shit <laughs> that was the one thing but I was doing three hours I felt fine three hours a day, 365 days a week, a year. So now it seems like I have a hell of a lot more energy again. And the only thing I can figure that's different is I've been doing a lot more is blood electrification. So, I don't know. A lot of my people might look at this video and think it's not correct, but if you look behind the science behind these things, it wasn't, no light, it wasn't lightweight people that put this stuff together. And it wasn't a marketing team. It wasn't some big bucks info commercial or none of that. None of that stuff was involved, because if that was involved, I wouldn't even believe it at all. Right there, you know, if it came out with hour-long info commercials about these things and 800 numbers and you know people's testimonies and all that, I wouldn't believe it. I just know it's backed by the very boring doctors and scientists that put it together over a period of years and they discovered this think this damn thing works I think the reason it's not around is first it it's been taught many times in schools but the middle class and the public just doesn't bite onto something unless they're led around by the nose that's my opinion and number two you know this is where like the conspiracy theories think it's all this they, it's, it could lose billions of dollars for the medical industry but that's really not what it is it's partly that. I think it's actually mainly the people, the average person, is uh, too lazy to freaking research it and try it out for themselves and see if it works. They got to be lit around by the nose. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, man. So, you know, and this obviously is not going to be a threat to the major medical people because most people just aren't going to bother. It's like a small niche. That's all it is.